Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a Samsung account without needing the email, password, or doing a factory reset on your device. These steps are user-friendly, so let's get started. You'll see the Samsung account listed in the first section. Tap on it to access the Samsung account settings, and then tap on sign out, you'll be prompted to enter your password to sign out of the account. If you remember your password, enter it to remove your account. If you don't remember the password, stick with the video. Next, open the settings app again and scroll down until you see general management tap on it to open. Then look for reset and tap on it. You will see accounts associated with your device, but even if you try to reset, you'll be prompted to enter your password. Since the password is forgotten, we cannot remove it that way. Make sure you have a USB cable that can transfer data from your device to a PC. Then go back to the settings app, scroll down until you see the option labeled about phone and tap on it to open. Look for software information and then find build number. Tap on it seven times to activate developer mode settings. Return to the settings app, scroll down until you see the section labeled developer options and tap on it to open. Under developer options, look for USB debugging and turn it on. You will be prompted with a warning, but tap OK, a USB debugging menu will pop up asking you to allow USB debugging. Tap on Always Allow, then tap on Allow Your Device is now successfully connected. Next, on your PC, open the ADB App Control app. Here you'll see both internal apps and additional apps. On the interface, you can either scroll or search for the specific app you are looking for. In this case, we are looking for Samsung account. Once you find it, click on it to select it. Then, in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see various options. Click on it and then select Uninstall also, Make sure you check the box labeled Delete Data and Cache. This will uninstall the Samsung account APK along with the account. You will be prompted to back up the APK. Before uninstalling, click Yes, then proceed to uninstall. Now your device won't have a Samsung account and you will not be able to add a new account just yet. But stick around and we will fix that. Go to settings, then look for accounts and backup. Then tap on manage accounts. If you don't see any accounts associated with the device, then it means it's successfully removed. Now that we have successfully removed the Samsung account, let's reinstall the Samsung account app. Think of it like uninstalling WhatsApp and then reinstalling it again, you will need to log in afresh. The same case applies here. To reinstall the app, go back to the tool and on the interface, look for the section labeled uninstalled here. You'll find all the apps that have been uninstalled. Select the Samsung account app, then in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see an option named restore. Click on restore and the app will be reinstalled back on your device. Now go back to your device settings and you'll see the option to add a new Samsung account. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more content.